Florida's diverse ecosystems are home to a huge variety of reptiles, from the enormous American alligator to invasive brown anoles, and of course, my favorite critters to catch, snakes. Hey, this is actually a garter. It looks kind of like a ribbon, but I'm like 97% sure it's a... Look how... <laughs> He's so intimidating. Look, this is how big he is, just so you can see. That's how intimidating he is. Okay, well, it's time to catch this absolutely monstrous snake right here. You can see this is highly aggressive, probably deadly. It might be a baby boom sling. Hold on, let's see if we can pick it up. Oh, he like stopped striking. Hello! Oh my gosh. Wow, that is very cute. Okay, so this, yeah, like I said, definitely, actually, I'm second guessing myself. Is it a ribbon? Maybe. It's right ribbon habitat. This is either a ribbon snake or a garter snake. He thinks he's like super duper scary, which is adorable. I'm seeing checkering like a garter. What is your tail? It's a garter. So this is a super duper tiny garter snake. Now garters are interesting because unlike most gluebirds, these are live bearers. So this guy didn't hatch out of an egg. This guy was actually born out of his, look how attentive he is to my hand. He's so smart. This one's going to do well. And at this size, this snake is pretty much purely insectiv insectivorous. He can't fit much else in his mouth other than insects. And he does still have a little bit of neurotoxic venom he can use to dispatch them, but not much else. So he's still really just hiding from predators this size, trying to eat insects and get a little bit bigger. Then he'll get a little chunkier instead of being so elongated. That is really neat find. He's super adorable. And we'll go ahead and sit him back down. I'm going to go about his day. Goodbye. We weren't having much luck in the upland scrub habitat, so decided to try an evening hike in a cypress swamp. It wasn't too long until we spotted some scales concealed amongst the dense vegetation. Do you guys even see that? Look how camouflage that thing is. That is a Florida cottonmouth. It's its own subspecies, no, it's its own species of cottonmouth actually, found um, right here in southern and central Florida. These guys can get absolutely massive, up to around six feet long, which is pretty absurd for a viper. So this one still has a lot of growing to do, but it's definitely an adult individual. Um, now right now it's not coiled up or anything, which means it's probably not hunting. And we're getting some of that later, um, later evening sun. So I think this guy was just kind of hanging out in basking mode right now. You can see though, if you're looking at it and if you're not paying attention, it will be super easy to miss these in the wild, which is why so many people get bit because they literally step on them and then they're struck at. But you can see I'm about three feet away from him right now and he is not chasing me. He's not gaping at me, nothing like that. Um, these are actually very relaxed snakes if you've worked with them for long enough. And while they sometimes give the impression of chasing while they try and escape from a dangerous situation, um, they're not aggressive, they're only defensive. So you can just observe them in the wild um, for the beautiful snakes that they are. But what a cool, cool find and great spot by Taylor. Just as we were preparing to end the hike and head back to camp, a flash of movement revealed a reptile that I never expected to see in the wild. Guys, check it out. This amazing snake we just spotted right here in the middle of beautiful snake habitat. We literally, minutes ago, we're saying, hold on, let's pick it up. Minutes ago, we're saying, can't believe we haven't seen a snake yet. And then Gabe looked over and, oh, that is a massive Brooks King snake, guys. And this is definitely the biggest king snake I have ever seen in my entire life. Look how big the snake is. Now you can see if you look at the head, it actually does look kind of like the eastern king snakes that we find back in North Carolina. And they are very similar, but this Brooks king snake can only be found in southern Florida. And rarely, rarely do you ever see them reach this size. I would say this is definitely a fully grown, totally mature individual. Now, just like the eastern king snakes we have back at home, Brooks king snakes are ophidiophagous, which means they prey on other snakes. And out here in the swamp like this, that probably means big nerodia. So some of the largest species of water snake in North America can be found in these swamps, species like the brown water snake and the Florida green water snake, which can surpass this snake in size, is probably actually what the king snake is eating. And it's capable of doing that because it has extremely efficient coiling behavior. So these are very powerful constrictors. They're actually able to exert about twice their body weight in constricting force on another snake um, using their coils, which is pretty insane. But they are totally non-venomous. While they are very large and the black and yellow coloration might suggest venom, that's false. These are harmless snakes. And you can see very docile, just like the other king snakes. I literally cannot believe that I am holding this animal in my hands right now. That is how rare this is. I had no other information about this um, prepared just because I never thought we would see one. 
Um, dude, and when Gabe pointed at it, I this is the first time in years I've looked at a snake and not known immediately what it was because they are so incredibly cryptic. And what a better place to find it than out here, just in its in its natural habitat like that. What an amazing animal. We'll get some B-roll shots and put it right back in the wild. That is fantastic. So once again, no reason to fear these snakes, no reason to harass them or kill them if you are likely enough to see them in the wild. Um, and ecologically, they're very important. Um, these guys are top predators, eating all the other snakes that are out here, even the venomous ones, and really only falling prey to like raptors or something like that. But it's time to put the snake back in the wild and we'll set it down right here and watch her go. That's gorgeous. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you on our next adventure. Until then, stay safe and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.